This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st Century. And welcome, family, to another wonderful edutainment edition of The Art of His Thinks. Today's edition, we'll be talking about my encounter with Sister Monja Willis, the mother of NBA superstar James Harding, Mother's Day uh, 2011 in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, this is a great story. Uh, it's funny, it's very surreal. Uh, okay, Mother's Day. Uh, 2011, me and my mom was downtown uh, just taking it easy, having like a, a leisure walk after having dinner over my Aunt Liz's house with my great uncle uh, Willie James who passed away that uh, next June. Anyway, Memphis at that time during that spring we had a real bad flooding problem. The Mississippi River flooded um, and it went into our city of good abode. Uh, we are on a bluff, so we're not below sea level. So it was very interesting. I mean, the, the river waters rose very high uh, that spring. And uh, so anyway, we were just curious to see how I was looking because I kept on getting all these phone calls and text messages and emails. Very concerned about, you know, am I okay? Because uh, the national media made Memphis look like it was like the lost city of Atlantis, like we actually was underwater. But truth be told, the majority of the city was cool. It was the downtown area and North Memphis area that took on a lot of damage. And also Mississippi got hit hard because the casinos and Tunica closed down. Uh, so a lot of money was lost. And in a lot of ways uh, we were blessed, but also there was a lot of damage in the city. But fortunately most people were not hurt, although some people didn't lose their homes. So with that said, you know, we was on Riverside Drive, which was really like River Drive now. It's not Riverside because the water was on Riverside Drive. That's the last street uh, before Tumley Park, before the Mississippi River in Memphis. But anyhow, you know, me and my mom was talking, taking it all in, taking these uh, incredible pictures of the scenery. And this uh, sister, you know, struck up a conversation with us. The sister, she had like, uh, you know, uh, dreads or whatever, or braids, whatever you want to call it. And she let us know that she was an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, OKC Thunder fan, because also that weekend, the Memphis Grizzlies were playing the Oklahoma City Thunder uh, in the NBA playoffs. And it was a very competitive, highly competitive, uh, competitive series at that point. And she also let me know that she was James Harden's mom. But she said James Harden didn't register. Then I said, you mean old man gang? Because they call him old man gang. And she said, yeah, that's my son. See, James Harden at that time, he wasn't the superstar he was, or as he is today. He was coming out the bench for the uh, OKC Thunder. But at the same time, he, he had star quality because that following year, he won the Sixth Man of the Year Award in the NBA. That's the best player that comes off the bench award. But now, he's with the uh, Houston Rockets, and he's shining, shining like a star that he is. Three-time NBA star. But anyway... And we started talking, and uh, Sister Munja Willis, you know, she was talking about how she enjoyed the city of Memphis, how she appreciated the people and the food and the, and the history, the tourism and whatnot. 
And so I, I remind her that you know Memphis is known as the city of good abode, right? We're the city of good abode. But also I told her this is a place where kings are born and made and where they come to die. <laughs> whether it be Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on a balcony, a hotel balcony, or whether it be Evans Preston on his throne at his home. Throne meaning toilet. And, you know, so I told her all that, but also I told her some interesting things. I said, you know, uh, I said, don't ever tell nobody that you roll with OKC in, in the M town because these people take their Grizzlies basketball very, very seriously. And then it's kind of like, oh, are you serious? Are you? Yeah. I said, there's some crazy folks out here. I said, don't you know that Memphis is the first 48 capital of America? She said, uh, what, what do you mean? I mean and you got to think about it. This is from South Central L.A. So I'm telling all this stuff. Like, Memphis is the first 40 capital of America. I'm like, this ain't going to phase up. I mean, she's from L.A. But then she's just like, oh, my God, you serious? As a matter of fact, I said, Grizzly fans have been known to kidnap and torture opposing rivals. And their uh, opposing rival fans. And she's like, oh, my God, especially with you being James Harden mom. They might hold you for ransom. They said, oh my God, just tell me you're joking. I'll be out of spam. I mean, I told you Memphis is the first 48 capital of America. <laughs> yeah, also, I told her, you know, Dr. King, I said, don't you know that in 1999, that a jury found the government, the federal government, guilty of killing. Dr. Martin Luther King, they found him gullible, certain elements in the government. And not only that, but you know that certain elements has been rumored of our police and fire departments and, you know, worked with certain elements in the federal government to get rid of Dr. King. I said, there's a bunch of Judas in Memphis. You got to be careful who you can trust because those that are close to you can easily betray you. And so she was like, oh my God. I said, man, the best bet you got to do is take your butt back to that Western Hotel and lock your room and don't come out until the game or until y'all about to leave and go back home. And so she like, it was funny, because first she was all cool and calm and relaxed, then all of a sudden I got all in anxious feel. But it was a joke, man. I mean, you know, she was having a good time. We always having a good time. No harm, no foul, as they say. So I just want to let y'all know about that story, because it's hard to believe. You ran a James Harden mom on the flooded banks of the Mississippi River. I said, hell yeah, I did. Matter of fact, I got the picture to prove it. So uh, family, I hope you enjoyed that little story. Feel free to uh, subscribe, tell a friend, spread the news. Also feel free to donate to We All Be to help the movement to keep on going, to keep on pushing, keep on striving, keep on rolling like the river. But anyhow, God bless everybody out there. Enjoy this special day with this special woman in your life. And if she's not around to enjoy it with, Think about those special memories you had with that special woman in your life. In the words of the great DeGelton, we love you madly. Keep producing and pushing and thinking. And the reason I want to tell my, my James Harden mom story was the fact that I was inspired. I saw that Matt Barnes was a uh, was given a $50,000 fine for trash talking with Sister Munja Willis. And I want to let people know that she's a good sister. I don't, I don't know what Matt Barnes could have done or why he said the things he said to that sister. She's a beautiful sister. And I really enjoyed that brief moment in time hanging out with her. So I just want to set the racket straight on my end. That Sister Munja Willis, uh, she is definitely game and game ready. And I guess the best is yet to come. So take care, everybody. Thank you.